When we talk about pregnancy, Jean-Luc, there are common complaints that many mothers experience. Sometimes, starting from the moment their period was late, there's the nausea, headaches, and I know, for certain mothers, it was hell. Women who were at the end of their rope, who could barely function either at home or at work, and who were scared of taking something that could have a negative impact on the baby. Jean-Luc, can you tell us what a drug does and how it can impact the baby? In the best of all worlds, you know that not taking medication is the optimal solution. But sometimes, taking nothing or taking a medication incorrectly can result in more problems than taking a medication with calculated risks. Before getting pregnant, of course, some women will already be taking medication to control some of their known health problems. These mothers, or future mothers, should continue treatment. We may adjust the medication, but you have to be sure to continue to treat the conditions correctly. Also, as you mentioned earlier, we prescribe medications to prevent specific conditions or problems, like folic acid to prevent neural tube defects, spina bifida, and sometimes expectant mothers may have no choice but to take antibiotics, for example, for an acute infection. We'll prescribe antibiotics for limited time frames, like 7, 10, or 14 days. It's important to make sure you use as little medication as possible and only as directed. If we take, for example, we start during pregnancy, the most frequent symptoms of pregnancy to begin with, problems such as nausea, headaches, perhaps acid reflux that occurs quite frequently. Some women have it from the start of pregnancy. If we take a look at nausea to begin with, what would you suggest for mothers, other than medication, non-pharmaceutical methods that moms could try first, as they're always better? Of course. As you said, there are a number of non-pharmaceutical methods. Mm -hmm.